Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we have a massive update on the GoodLock application for your Samsung smartphone that allows you to create your own custom theme. So basically, normally when you pinch your screen, you tap on the themes, all right, and then basically you can buy and install or download for free and install themes right from this theme store, and you can tap on view all to view all your themes. Now, these are pre-installed themes, and I'll let you know, I made this one here, the test, test two, and assassin theme all by myself. And they all have their own characters. As you can see, if I go to my phone application, that's the way it looks. If I pull this down, that's the way it looks, all right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get that done by using this brand new update that is right here. So that's a theme park, all right? And as you can see, I'm able to modify and customize every little screen for my brand new theme. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Let's dive in. So let's dive in and discover right away what I'm talking about. So let me just go to my apps and I'll launch Good Luck. And for those of you guys that do not know where to get the Good Luck application, all you do is you go into your app drawer and you look for the Galaxy Store or you search for the Galaxy Store, just like that, and you tap on it. And then once you're in here, you simply search for the Good Luck application like this. Once you search it, it's gonna pop right up. You're gonna install that right away, okay? So our new application is part of the GoodLock family. So when I open this up, or if I just go to my app drawer, once you download, it's gonna show up right there. And if I launch this, what we have now is known as the brand new GoodLock update, the theme park application that allows you to build your own custom themes, which is amazing. So the very first time you come into this application, go to family and then tap on the actual icon. It's gonna take you to the Galaxy Store from where you can install Theme Park. Okay, so once you install that, it's gonna show up right here. When you click on it, it's gonna launch the application. So Theme Park allows you to design a brand new theme. Now when you tap on this button and you tap on My Themes, it takes you to your existing themes that you have downloaded from the theme store. So that is accessible right from here. You pinch the screen, you go to themes, and this is your usual, uh, let me just click okay. This is your usual theme store. You can access all your themes right from here, okay? So that's the same thing right over here. When you tap on this and you click on my themes, it takes you to that application. But if you wanna create your own brand new themes, you tap on design a new theme, and what's gonna happen is the very first step is that you have to pick up a background image. So I can tap on downloads here and I can tap on this guy and that's gonna be my background image. Now based on that background image, it's going to preload a custom theme for you, but then you can go and you can customize every single aspect. For example, if I tap on this one, I have the option to change the wallpaper. I can tap on this one, I can change the wallpaper or I can tap on it again, I can crop the wallpaper so I can pick specific portions of that wallpaper that I wanna make as my background. So I like this area better. Uh, let's just go like this a little bit. I'm gonna click done. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna click okay. So the wallpaper has changed and the colors are also changed based on the coloring in the actual wallpaper. Fantastic. Now the other thing you can do is you can tap on this button right here and now what you can do is you can swipe through each of these pages to see how your theme is gonna look in different apps. So it's gonna look like this in the actual notifications panel. So right now this is my notifications panel. But once I apply the theme, it's gonna have these colors, okay? When I swipe over, that's how my message is gonna look. When I swipe over, that's how my phone is gonna look. When I swipe over, uh, that's how my settings screen is going to look. Other apps are gonna look, okay? That's my clock application. Now I'll let you know, here's the color option. You can change the colors as you desire, okay? So that could be your main color, that could be your main color. So you, it'll change, things will change based on the main color you have. For example, look at the toggles and how they change color based on the color you pick right over here. It says select a main color. This color affects the overall colors of your theme. Then you can go to style and you can select a theme style. Style decides the mood of the theme. So I can tap on this one, look at that. It just changes the mood of the theme. Let's pick something really cool. You can even go some, for something like that, no problem. Let's pick this one right here, okay? And then go to icons, and what you can do is you can change the icon tray color. So if I tap on this one, 
you'll see that now it has an icon tray. I can give it any color that I want, all right? That's absolutely fantastic. Let's pick this one right here, tap over here, and then you can change the color of the icon label. So right now they're black. If I tap on this, look at that. The label color is now calendar. I can go to orange, I can go to red, uh, blue, and all these colors. So let's just pick white, okay? Now what you want to do is after you have designed your theme, color, style, and icons, and the background, you can also tap this again to get a full view of everything, okay? What you want to do is you want to tap on save. Once you tap on save, I'm just going to say uh, test two. So that's my second theme. You cannot have a space. It has to be a full, uh, just one word. So I'm going to click OK. All right. It's going to go to my theme. And then I'm going to show you how to apply it, which is very easy. So it shows up right there. OK. You tap on it. You click apply. Click apply. And look at that. Applying your brand new theme that you created yourself. And then it takes a couple seconds. 50%, 70%, 90%, boom, we're done. Let's go back out. I'm going to show you the whole thing. That's it. That's my brand new theme. I made this myself. Look at the settings. It's all nice and different. Look at that, all right? If I go to my phone's application, look at the way it looks. It's different, all right? If I go to my text messages, it's going to look different, all right? Most of my system apps are going to look different. Calculator is going to look different. Well, not too different, but a little bit. And then the calendar, let's take a look at that. Again, we've got that different background. So the whole theme, let's go to the settings, as you can see, all right, fantastic. So you can actually make your own themes. Let me just do one more to show you how a different color background affects the entire mood of the theme. All right, so let's go back into my Good Lock application right here, or I can go to the theme park. I like to do it from here. Go to family, go down, I mean, go up, go to theme park, okay? Now let me click. Uh, plus design a new theme. All right. Now I'm going to tap on this one. I'm going to use this one. All right. So that's look at that. Beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And again, I can modify everything over here. I can go to here, something like that. Okay. Now I can save this theme. Uh, I can say assassin. Click OK. It's saying install a theme. Should take a couple seconds. Now I'm back in the home screen after my theme was created. I can also pinch the screen, go to my themes, and my theme is going to show up right here. When I tap on view all, it's going to be right there. My God, this, this level of customization is just amazing. Let's apply this, take a look at how it looks. It picked up all the colors by itself, and then I was able to modify them uh, based on my own desires. So I turned into a black and white theme, as you can see. Look at that. Everything just makes sense, all right? Launch this, beautiful, launch this, beautiful, all right, go to the settings, let's see what's happening over here, absolutely beautiful, all right, so let's make one Dragon Ball theme just for fun, so let me uh, go to the Good Luck application right here, all right, let's go to family, tap on uh, theme park, and then it's going to pop right up, tap on design a new theme, it's going to take less than a couple of seconds, so I'm going to tap on this one, let's pick this photo right here, okay, look at that absolutely stunning all right and that's exactly uh, what it's going to look like and like i said you can change the color okay you can change the color let's go back here pick this one go to style you can pick different styles as you can see and of course different trays and labels for any picture that you want now the great thing is once you have created a theme you can also change the wallpaper on the fly and tap on this one tap on change i'm going to go back here grab this one instead all right so click OK, boom, look at that, absolutely stunning. That's what it's going to look like all over the place. This is beautiful, all right? So again, you save it and you apply it as you please. All right, all right, guys. So if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. Now, real quick, some of you guys may not be able to download Good Luck if you're in certain countries, but there's way or ways around it. So if you want to download Good Luck and you don't have access to it, what I recommend is search Google for how to install Good Luck if my country doesn't allow it. Okay, and then if you do that, it's going to give you all kinds of uh, guides and step-by-step -step instructions to download Good Luck on your phone so you can utilize these amazing tactics. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video.
And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.